Welcome to video four for the Bird Migration Explorer. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the conservation challenges section of the Explorer in greater detail and address common questions. To begin, you can find the conservation challenges section by clicking on the orange button or conservation challenges at the top of the screen. This will open up the conservation challenges Explorer panel. Here we have 19 available challenge data layers loaded in, and these come from 11 different categories of threat that are classified according to an IUCN and Conservation Measures Partnership Global Threat Classification Scheme. As you scroll down, you'll see each of the major categories listed and the available data layers. Keep in mind that there's a reason why we named this section Conservation Challenges. We didn't name it Threats because not all of these challenges are threats at all times, in all places, to all species. We took a lot of care in writing the descriptions about these challenges to present a well-balanced description that acknowledges the role of people and how Many of these uses of the landscape are important to the livelihoods of different people. They also can be big challenges for migratory birds. These maps do not estimate impacts to populations. They show you the overlap of the footprint of a conservation challenge and the distribution of a species. So really we're looking at maps of co-occurrence. So use these maps to gain new insights, to see new patterns, to ask better questions, and as a jumping off point for further inquiry. They're really going to help us put these issues in a hemispheric context and to look for new and better ways to do bird conservation. Each of these maps is showing us the footprint of the challenge across the hemisphere they come in two resolutions. There's the 150 kilometer resolution. And then when I zoom in a little farther, then that resolves into the 50 kilometer resolution. And each of these cells has been linked with species that are exposed to this challenge and relevant to this challenge. Behind the explorer is an extensive matrix that links each of the 458 species with each of the 19 conservation challenges. Many staff members have helped us complete this matrix along with an extensive literature review. I can go ahead and click on a place of interest, which will give me a list of species that are linked to groundwater depletion as an issue. And then I can select one of these species. This map is going to play the groundwater um, and Dunlin distribution over the course of the year. And where you see larger circles, that's again, the abundance, the same as it is on the species migration maps. The color then is the proportion of those birds that are co-occurring with groundwater depletion and therefore having exposure to this type of challenge. I'm going to hit pause and we can take a closer look at this histogram at the bottom. Here we're looking at spring when this challenge is among the highest for Dunland throughout the year. But then if we take a look at summer, we'll notice that exposure to groundwater depletion is very low. I'm going to click back to all conservation challenges so that I can see the full list of challenges linked to Dunland and I'll choose sea level rise. Now the map will switch over and I'll get to see the distribution of Dunlin intersected with sea level rise throughout the course of the year. This is the end of video four. Thank you for joining and stay tuned for further training resources on the Bird Migration Explorer.